Hi, my name is Susan Reed and this is Wesley and Wesley's going to help me today with my musculoskeletal and neurological video. Hi Wesley. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> it's going great. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, Wesley, is I'm going to let you lay down first and I want you to sit up to a, a sitting position for me so I can see how you move. Okay, so you move easily. You seem to be able to sit up easily. That's great. Okay, the next thing, I was checking your muscle strength just to make sure that you were able to move your muscles and ambulate and and uh, move easily and you are able to. Um, the next thing I want to do is check your sensation. So I want you to close your eyes and I have a pointed, pointed part of the pen and a dull part of the pen. And I want you to tell me whether you feel sharp or dull, okay? Uh, All right, so close your eyes, okay? Point. Okay, so sharp or dull? Sharp. sharp. Dull. Sharp. For your legs. Sharp. Sharp. Mm -hmm. Dull. Dull. Sharp. One more time. Sharp. Very good. Okay, so you can assess the difference between sharp and dull. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is I've got a little uh, soft piece of cotton. I want you to tell me when you can feel it, okay? So you close your eyes and you tell me when you can feel it, okay? Okay. Now. 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 Very good. Okay. The next thing we want to do is assess your sense of vibration. So I have, this is called a tuning fork, and I'm going to put this on your toe, but I want you to tell me when you feel it, okay? Alright. Alright, close your eyes. No. Okay. No. Very good. Could you feel the vibration? Yes. Okay. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is assess your sense of position. So, let me see your finger real quick. So, this is up, okay, okay. and this is down, okay? Right. I want you to close your eyes and you tell me whether I'm pointing your finger up or down. Okay? Right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Up. Down. Down. Up. Okay, let's do the middle finger. Up. Down. Up. Down. Down. Very good. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to test is called serenosis. And stereonosis, stereonosis, excuse me, stereonosis is when uh, you recognize things by a sense of feel, how it feels in your hand. Uh, like you can recognize things when, when you touch them. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to put something in your hand and you tell me what it is. Okay. So let me show what it is. You can tell what it is. Okay. All right, can you tell what that is? Uh, a ring. Uh huh, class ring. Very good. Okay. Okay. Well, the next thing um, we're going to do is called a rapid alternating movement test. Okay. So this seems silly. So don't <laughs> think I'm just being silly. But what you have to do is clap your hands back and forth on your thighs faster and faster and faster and faster as fast as you can go. So you start off slow to get the hang of it. There you go. And go faster and faster and faster and faster as fast as you can go. As fast as you can go. Very good. Okay, perfect. All right. The next thing we want to do is assess your biceps reflex. So we're going to use our hammer, and I'm going to hold your arm. Okay, and bend your bend your arm. Okay, and just relax it. And I'm going to hold it and just relax your arm. Just let it let it dangle. There you go. Bend your arm, rest it comfortably. There you go. Okay. The next thing we're going to check is your bradio radialis, bradio, excuse me, brachio radialis reflex. So we're going to hold your arm here and just turn your arm, just relax it, okay? Thing 
thing so there we go okay okay the next thing we're going to do is um, check your triceps reflex and that's behind your elbow so I guess we can go to this one so bend actually come this way And the next thing we'll check is your quadriceps reflex, which is right below your kneecap. This is the one you typically think of. Okay, the next thing we'll try is the Achilles reflex, which is right above the heel. So let's get back a little bit. Okay, the final thing we want to look, check for is your plantar reflex. We want to make sure you don't have Babinski sign. So, so scoot back for me like you were and just relax like that. And I'm going to run this up to the bottom of your feet. So very good. Okay, if you had had a positive Babinski sign, then your foot would have flexed back and your toes would have flexed back like that. Like that. But it didn't, so that's a good sign. It means you're neurologically intact. Okay? All right, great. You can sit up. This concludes my musculoskeletal and neurological video. Thank you.